My name is Demetrius Rice and my program is the Instructional Systems and Learning Technology. It's more commonly referred to as Instructional Design and my area of study is uh, instructional uh, training in the K-12 context. I started as a math teacher but then I transitioned over to the Career and Technical Education uh, Coordinator where I developed uh, engineering programs and graphic design program. After working for several years with my undergraduate, I realized that my entire career, the remaining of my career will always be in academia. In order for me to go beyond where I was at, I needed to pursue a graduate degree. But then it was, well, which school do I go to? Do I stay here? Do I move somewhere else? And in the field of instructional design, uh, the leaders in that field actually all come, most of them come from FSU. A lot of the original theories and concepts were established right here at Florida State University. I'm a true do-it-yourself, learn-for-yourself type of person, but I like collaborating and communicating with others. That's what I'm most passionate about, and my research allows me to combine both of those things together. My research is based on me learning or taking you know, the initiative to explore something new that might not have instructions or there's no formal training for it, but then developing formal training for someone else to be able to learn it. And I would think my proudest accomplishment is the impact that I've had on other students. My career aspirations is to have a hub of learning centers where it can serve as what we would call, I guess, apprenticeships for you know, those that are either unemployed or underemployed, and they might see themselves pursuing some sort of career change. And then also, educators, current educators, like to be able to come and con get continuous training in emerging technologies and the different things that are, you know, being introduced into the marketplace because it's going to impact education also. Since I've been here as a graduate student, I would say my advisor, which is Dr. Jim Klein, he's been the most influential to me, not just, you know, as a student, but as a person. Graduate school, it's, it's tough, it's a challenge. Um, that's why people value a graduate degree. In those difficult times, I fall back on my, my spiritual stronghold. You know, so between prayer and meditation, that gives me balance. I mean, the problem's still sitting there in front of you, but at least you're not in a state of panic. And the answer doesn't always pop up, but at least you feel like, okay, as long as I keep on trying, ultimately I'll, I'll, I'll get somewhere. But then also like my family. So even before I came back to, to graduate school, for them, you know, it was, okay, we're all pursuing this degree. So when it gets tough, call us, you know, when you need to vent, call us. And at the same time too, they let me know how proud of me that they are. And so those little, those, those combination of things get me, have gotten me through, you know, the most difficult time so far in my, in my graduate studies. I would say first consider what your, what's your end goal or what's your big goal and how would a graduate degree enhance that. Find out which, which program is right for you. Start reaching out to faculty, staff, or students, definitely students that are already in that program to get a feel for it so you'll know what, the, what to expect when you get there. There's never a dull moment, I can say that as a graduate student. 